We've invited you along today to give you the first details of Football Manager 2013, which is, of course, the best game we've ever made. I know we say that every year, but that's because it's always true. But this year, there really are some genre-defining changes to the game. Before I go into those, though, I'd like to say to all of our fans around the world that we hope Football Manager 2013 is going to offer exactly what you want for the next version of the series. A bigger, better and even more immersive version of the world's greatest football management simulation. We've not only introduced lots of new things, we've also improved and massively enhanced a number of existing features including the network game, scouting and training. I'll get to some of the new things in a minute, but first I'd like to talk about what I've just referred to as the genre-defining changes. In previous releases, the home screen has offered the player two basic choices, either to play Football Manager or to play the network game. This year, those two options are joined by two others. In FM13, players will be offered the option to play the game in a whole new way. The first of these new modes is what we call Classic Mode. Football Manager Classic, or FMC as we've taken to calling it, is essentially a less time-consuming way to enjoy Football Manager. The essence of the game is exactly the same. The manager still takes charge of a squad of players and competes at whatever level he or she chooses, but you'll now find that there are a number of responsibilities that have either been taken over by your support staff or have disappeared completely. For example, when a player takes charge of training in FMC, this is carried out at a full team level only, and there's no individual player training. And when it gets to the matches themselves, there are no team talks or opposition reports, you just go straight to a game which is played out in a much quicker, highlights-only fashion. The other new way to play is Challenge Mode. And in Challenge Mode, you'll find yourself in a particular situation which will test your management skills over a shorter game time, usually half a season. We first introduced Challenge Mode in Football Manager Handheld 2012 and it's proved to be so popular that we've decided to include it in FM2. As an example of a challenge, uh, one is where you try to meet your board's expectations despite the fact that most of your best players are injured, while in another you find yourself unbeaten halfway through a season and are asked to stay that way for the remaining matches, which as you can imagine is pretty tough. FMC also features a number of unlockable features which will, in effect, be small ways to make the game a little easier to play, removing the need for work permits, for example, or the ability to add a few million to your transfer budget. Away from FMC, we've also introduced a number of enhancements and improvements to what is the main career mode. Perhaps the most visible enhancements to this year's game will be those that we've made to the 3D engine. For FM13, everything that you see on the pitch will look more realistic, from the stadiums, through player movements and the way the ball moves through the air, as well as the most dramatic changes to the match engine since AI since FM2009. We've also introduced hundreds of new and improved animations to make the game feel more realistic, and we've made the whole experience more televisual by introducing a new camera angle and making significant improvements to the others, which we'll give more details of in the coming weeks. We've also completed a restructure of the manager's staff and a revamp of their roles, the most obvious of these being that we've introduced a director of football into the game for the first time. This will allow managers to pass on much of their workload, such as contract negotiations, but only if you choose to. Then there's the new network game. We've fully integrated Steam's network functionality into this year's game, which means that players should be able to set up and enjoy games among, against their friends far more easily than before. The deeper integration with Steam also allows us to have worldwide leaderboards for the first time. There are far too many changes for us to go into them all today. More than 900 new and improved features in total. There's a couple I'd like to mention before I finish though. First off, we've completely revamped the loan system. We've also overhauled the scouting and training system. And for the first time, we've added individual tax regimes for each major country which the more mercenary players will take into account when deciding which club to go for. And that shows quite how deep we go with Football Manager 2013. No, no release date as yet, because we don't know what it is ourselves, but um, we're aiming for before Christmas, as we always do, and I'm confident that we'll hit that. Um, well, simply it's feedback that we've seen online and through research that we've done. Um, 
particularly if you go to a mainstream website and see a review of one of our games, you get lots of people talking there about how they'd like to be playing the game but they don't have time to anymore. Family life has taken over or they've got themselves a proper job or even just like going out. Um, so there are also people in the studio who are in exactly the same position as that. So we just decided to do something that was, uh, that was going to take a bit less time to play. The idea being that you can try and get through a season in about eight to ten hours. Um, yeah, Montreal are in the game. Um, our version of the EPPPP is in the game because we're not exactly sure how it's going to work yet. Um, all 51 countries that are playable inside the game have been updated and for the first time we have over 500,000 players and staff in the database this year, so even more players to choose from. Yeah, I mean, as well as lots of new news items inside the game and, and more interaction um, and a special way of dealing with it in FMC as well, which you'll see again in the coming weeks. Um, we've also added the tone system that was in the team talks into the press conferences as well, which means that you've got a lot more variation um, in how you deal with the press and how you define your character in the game. Um, yes, we will. Uh, at last count, I think we had 25 video blogs that are going to go into more detail. Might end up being a few more than that. And they will be available from footballmanager.com, um, hopefully most days in the lead up to release.